What's the word everybody, it's your boy Jay Sites, and I'm back with another tutorial. And today, I'm about to teach y'all how to color your videos in Premiere Pro. First off, if you're not in the coloring tab, you want to switch to that tab right now. And when you're in your Lumetri scopes, you want to come down to this wrench and you want to hit parade. You want to hit the wrench one more time and then turn off the waveform. And now you want to come over to your clip, look for the whitest thing in the scene. You want to come up to basic correction. You want to hit this ink drop tool and you just want to click that you want to click that white object so now that you have that um you want to come down to your color wheels when you're here you never want to touch your midtones when you're in your color wheels the goal is to have your highlights peaking at 90 and your shadows to be peaking a little below or exactly at 10. so i'm gonna grab my shadows and i'm gonna have them just go a little bit below 10 and you're gonna see exactly why soon. Then I'm gonna grab my highlights. I'm gonna drag those up a little bit. Keep those above 90. And yeah. Once I do that, I'm gonna come to my curves and I'm gonna create an S curve. I'm gonna bring my shadows down more and I'm gonna bring them down until I feel comfortable. And then I'm gonna come up to my highlights and make sure that those are peaking at 90 it might be a little bit above but that's cool all right once you're done in your curves you can come down to your uh, luma versus saturation you could boost that John a little bit and then we could come down to saturation versus saturation and boost that up as well and as you can see we're adding a little bit of life to that we don't want to do it too much because then you see we get some red bleeding out of uh, our browner subjects and yeah it and we get some yellow a little bit too much yellow in those eyes so you know we keep that at a mid-range you know something cool and we're gonna let a LUT lead us on with some more life to the color you know we could come back up to our RGB curves and then here's a little trick I do. I take my uh, my index finger and I put it at my highlights and then I go to my reds and I drag that up. And then I do the same for the greens. Mm -hmm. Greens, the college greens. And then I do the blues as well, you know, the sad blues. And then I come back to my whites. I mean, I'm sorry, to my highlights curve come down to you know the bottom of my curve go to red bring that down bring that down remember you got to use your index finger to get get the love out of this and then we can come back to this luma versus sat and bring this down too because this is too much So now we can come back to our color wheels and we can continue to follow our rule with the uh, shadows being above 10 and our highlights peaking at around 90 so we could bring those down in the color wheels as well. Mm -hmm. So now you see we got some more life out of this. Now we could complement this with a LUT. Um, you can go on the internet and get LUTs from anywhere, but if you want specifically these LUTs that I have right here on the screen, you can um, you can purchase them. I'm gonna put them up on my website soon, so stay on the lookout for those. But for now, you know, just invest in some LUTs, and when you apply the LUT, just put the LUT to around 50% or 35. Don't use too much of it. Yeah, now you have a fully colored clip and uh, you can also highlight the clip and play with the FX button just to see your results. And now with the clip still highlighted, you can take that Lumetri and you can copy that information onto other clips that have the same background. For example, this. And yeah, that's kind of my process. Man, look. I kind of sound like this because I literally just did this tutorial. I literally just did this, but I had a little error where my stuff just messed up on me. So 
I had to redo it for y'all, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, just drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can definitely uh, leave some of those in the comment section as well. Or you could contact me on Discord. I got an active Discord. And yeah, man. Peace.